Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I had no intentions of picking up a Batman statue, but I went to my local HMV store that opened up. It closed down and I was quite disappointed because I loved going in there for a mooch. And then today they reopened in a slightly different location, but it's basically HMV where I live now. There's two floors and the first floor when you first enter is basically a big comic book shop which is like, uh, crazy because literally just last night I uploaded a video talking about how I wish there was a comic book shop somewhere near me because I love places like that and the new HMV near me is yeah basically a comic book shop and then the floor once you go up uh, the stairs is all vinyls and CDs and they had this and I walked out I asked them how much it was they said it's 110 pounds and I thought ooh I can't really don't really want to do that Christmas coming up I'm trying not to get myself any presents I'm trying to get other people presents and I've done that now they're all taken care of but I left and I knew it would be one of those times where if I didn't get it I'd regret it later on and I've learned from my mistakes in the past so I went back they saw me coming and they smiled <laughs> I was like yeah I'll take it it is the hero collector 1-6 scale Batman from the animated series Kevin Conroy who we recently lost and it's absolutely heartbreaking another reason why I decided to get this a beautiful representation of Kevin Conroy's Batman but I hope you enjoy this review it's an amazing looking piece folks I can't wait to show it to you it's 1 6 scale as well so it goes perfectly with all my other 1 6 scale Batman figures alright drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel make sure you follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight 333 for plenty of pictures and clips enjoy the review here's the back of the box you can also get the Joker now I'll tell you a little quick story yeah, there's the HMV sticker, so it's yeah, 109.99, and I was hesitating. Like I said, I left the store and I was not going to get it. And I went on eBay, and I could only find one on eBay, and they wanted 140, I think. So I thought, well, damn, HMV's got it for 109.99. I better go back and get it. Uh, but HMV also had, well, I shouldn't tell you this because anyone in my local area is going to go snatch it. <laughs> before I get a chance they do have a Joker not in the store but they do have it in their factory they said they can get it for me the reason I hesitated was because they had two Batmans uh, in stock in the store and they brought me out the one that was never opened uh, because I wanted a nice brand new one not the one that was on the shelf behind the counter where you pay on display and they brought out the brand new one and it was a good thing I checked because the brand new Batman both of his ankles were completely shattered and broken and he was just completely separate from his base so I said damn it this one's broken um, so I guess I'll take the one that you had on the shelf that everyone could see behind the counter where you pay for your items but it's fine I double checked the one that I've got and he seems absolutely fine mint condition the box is in really good condition as well here but yes there is a Mark Hamill Joker that goes along with him so I may end up picking that up not much to think about I mean they go together so well I would imagine but yeah, there is the box. You can pause that and have a read if you want. It basically tells you on the box that you, you need to get the Joker <laughs> if you've got Batman because they belong together. Uh, yeah, really nice packaging. From my first thing from Hero Collectors. Never had anything from them before. That's the website, so you can go check them out if you want. Box art on the side is absolutely gorgeous, and I love the pose that the statue is in. It's basically the exact pose I would have chosen. You know, I love that kind of half and half look where the cape is covering half the body and the other side is exposing the physique and stuff. So, absolutely love that. And then on this side, it shows you the other angle where the cape is more on just, oh, that just looks so good. It looks so good. I'm so glad I have this. God, I almost, I, I mean, I left. I told you I wasn't going to get it because I'd already spent about 50 quid on stuff in HMV. I bought Terrifier 2 again on DVD even though I have it on Blu-ray. Uh, I saw they had the one with that nice red uh, front cover so I had to get that as well. And I got a few little gifts for people as well for Christmas and I yeah I thought I can't spend $109.99 on a Batman statue it's you know I just can't do that right now but I, I could and I did and I'm glad. <laughs> and here is the piece absolutely stunning an amazing tribute to Batman from the animated series very hefty it's a heavy piece I can't wait for you unfortunately but take my word for it use two hands at all times and I'm not sure it's wise to put him on the shelf he may have to go 
somewhere else like kind of up here where the, the heavy statues are but he is absolutely splendid nice base as well look at that cape blowing in the wind we'll get up close and personal soon enough but look at the physique and I'm glad that I never got the Mondo I think it's Mondo 1-6 scale animated series Batman I saw videos and I saw height comparisons in those reviews and I thought he looks way too short compared to some of the other 1-6 scale figures and if anything I think Kevin Conroy from the, you know, from the animated series should be one of the biggest Batmans in your 1-6 scale collection just makes sense I mean look at the size of him he should be right along there with Ben Affleck Batman just big and beefy and tall and imposing which in my experience from what I saw the Mondo figure was not and if I had that figure I would have hesitated even more to get this because I would have been double dipping but this is my first animated series Batman like the true animated series look let's get up close look how sharp the sculpt is beautiful bat symbol on the chest the white eyes gauntlet blades beautiful pose of the cape blowing in the wind bat symbol and the inside of the cape that beautiful kind of purplish blue holding onto the cape with his hand there I love this. I will do some height comparisons for you in a moment, folks, with the other Hot Toys Batman figures and Sideshow Collectibles Jokers and all that stuff. But this is beautiful. I went on YouTube as well. I, I left HMV when I decided I wasn't going to get it. And I went outside and I started looking on YouTube to see some reviews. I found two videos and that's it. It's been out for a while because one of the videos was like three years old. Um, but yeah, I really couldn't find many videos on this piece, so I'll make sure I give you a nice HD 4K look at it. Sometimes it takes my videos a little while to fully render in 4K here on YouTube, folks. So if you really want to experience it in 4K, maybe come back in a couple of hours and we'll just watch it again. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt the channel. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can hear the music. I wish I could play the animated series music, but copyright problems, you know, folks, it's just not worth the risk. I can do it on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on there. I'll put up some footage with the real music playing. I just love it. I, mean, I can't get enough of the pose. It's the perfect pose. It's like someone, it's like when I saw Batman Begins, and as I was watching it for the first time, I thought, someone has reached into my brain and created the perfect Batman movie. Whereas this is the perfect pose for this particular Batman. It's like they reached into my brain. I didn't even realize it, but back when I did the half and half pose video, I remember with the Michael Keaton Hot Toys Batman, where one side of his body was covered with the cape and the other was exposed. And this is what that is. The half and half look. And I love that the cape and cowl is just mostly black. There is some nice kind of uh, dry, not dry brushing, uh, airbrushing, that's what I mean. Some kind of little shadows of bluish purple, a bit of grey in places here and there. Mostly kind of around the front, I think. You can see a little bit just under his chin. A little bit of a highlight, but it's basically black, which I love. I was just taking some pictures from this angle. I think it looks really nice. So, give you a little peek. I can't stress how much I love the pose. It's all so sharply done. I'm very, very impressed with it, folks. Obviously, it's a high recommend from me, especially now with the tragic passing of Kevin Conroy. Now is a very good time to swoop down on this piece. It's just a bonus that it's 1 6 scale. Speaking of which, let's get him paired up with some on six scale figures that is a beautiful angle all right so here is the hero collector animated series batman statue 
next to a Hot Toys 1-6 scale Arkham City Batman. Sorry, I was just making sure I got the, the right game because the Joker that they made from the Arkham games was from Arkham Asylum and this Batman is from Arkham City. And they're pretty much the same height but the Hot Toys figure is a little bit taller. He's got longer ears obviously but you can see the top of the head is slightly higher than the statue here plus Batman statue is ever so slightly raised just a little bit off the ground more than the Hot Toys one is but I think they scale together pretty well you know they're not both from the games one from the animated series and the other one's from the video games so that's how they look together and just zoom in a little bit beautiful very very beautiful very realistic even though it's based on a video game still you know in comparison to this like a very ultra realistic human you know the uh, stubble all that fine detail and, you know whereas with the animated series it's a different kettle of fish it's not supposed to have all that detail that's what makes it so kind of uh, well, classic and everlasting it's a lot more timeless you might say I absolutely love it all right we'll try some others like Michael Keaton Christian Bale I'm gonna wait It'd be nice if Hot Toys gave us a poison ivy from the Arkham games don't care which game she looked good in all of them so that would be nice still fingers crossed hoping and praying for a Hot Toys 160 Arkham City Catwoman my favorite Catwoman ever. And here he is next to my 1-6 scale. Custom, pretty much. He's pretty much custom. You've got custom head sculpt, custom cape. Um, and the body is Hot Toys, but the gauntlets and the boots are from different figures. But that is the Batman Begins 1-6 scale piece. Next to the statue. And I think the statue is a bit more to my liking here because I think Kevin Conroy should be bigger than Christian Bale and even though he's got the height advantage because of his base that's, that's obviously contributing there but you can kind of factor that in and imagine him being a little bit or I could just put Christian Bale at the same level I could chuck something underneath him you see we've got a coaster that might help it's not going to get him that much extra height but plus I've got him leaning in a little bit Christian Bale Batman, Jesus look at that thing in case you didn't know folks and I'm pretty sure most of you do that's my favourite Batman ever my favourite Batman film ever Batman Begins, the reason this channel is here so much incredible powerful influence on me back in 2005 changed my life that's how it is and they look beautiful together And now, Michael Keaton from Batman Returns. He also has a custom cape. That is not how the Hot Toys cape looks. It's like an umbrella. It's horrible. So, we will definitely have to reach out to someone like Jackson on Instagram or Unreal Customs for a beautiful addition to your piece to get them looking as good as that. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, or whatever you, your pronouns are, Jesus. All right, so that is the Hot Toys Batman Returns Michael Keaton 1-6 scale figure next to the Hero Collector 1-6 scale animated series Batman. And here is the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Ben Affleck Batman from Dawn of Justice. And he is an amazing piece. He also has a custom cape. And he's on a Michael Myers base because his one is in storage. And he stands up really well on his own. He doesn't really need one. And he's taller than Kevin Conroy in the main series Batman. By a fair bit. He's quite a bit taller. But I will give you the old zoom action. 
pan over to the super realistic Dawn of Justice Batman. They got it right the first time with the suit. Awesome piece. My suit's holding up just fine, folks. I know that some people out there have had some horrible issues with the material rotting away or ripping or whatever, but I've had this guy in some crazy poses over the years and everything so far is just dandy. And here he is next to my 1-6 scale Heath Ledger Joker with an amazing head sculpt that was worked on by Mr. Stephen Maurice from Trespass Customs on Instagram. A fine artist and an even finer collector, he's got one hell of a spread. Go check that out if you know what's good for you. But these two look nice together. Both no longer with us. What the hell's going on? I don't know, time? It's just moving so fast and... Oh, let's not even go there, but I think about it a lot. I'm 42, so... That door... is getting closer. The long blink beckons. Give the old close-up. Let's just start over here and pan across. To the incredibly realistic Joker. All right, and that is how they look together. Seems to really complement each other really well for some reason. All right, last height comparison, and it is the Mark Hamill Arkham Asylum Joker by Hot Toys. Probably, I don't know, it's, it's tough to say, but I think it's... Definitely the best Joker Hot Toys have done. It's definitely one of the best Jokers in my collection. There's a few more I could show you, but we need to get on with this, folks. There's still the Jack Nicholson, and there's a Sideshow Joker over there, so I'll leave them out. But we'll just finish up here with Mark Hamill. Seems appropriate. That is, you know, the Batman's Joker. Pan in. It's an amazing sculpt and paint job and the body they use, the tailoring. Makes me want to go back and review everything again with this new camera. It's so much better than using the good old Samsung phone, which I would have kept using, but it just started playing up. So I decided to just go ahead and get this done and get the professional camera. And it was definitely worth doing. And that's it. That's how they look together. The Hot Toys base is quite tall. So he's actually got a bit of a height advantage there. But I think they're, you know, pretty much the same size. Now I'll give you my final thoughts. Uh, we'll just let you see the bottom of the box, folks. There's really not much on here. I was wondering if it was numbered, like, you know, like 257 out of 500 or anything like that. No, there's nothing underneath the base, just a nice velvety surface. And there isn't much on the bottom of the box here to go by, really. So I'm not too sure how many of these were produced. All right, folks, so my final thoughts are this is an absolutely essential piece. And sadly, you know, it's sad to say it, but especially now with his recent passing, the legendary Kevin Conroy. I think everybody needs this if you're a Batman collector, especially the 1-6 scale crew, because this fits in really well with them. And beautiful packaging as well, just it's the icing on the cake. Really, really love that. I have to say though, folks, like I said, with my experience in HMV today, when they brought out two different ones, including this one that was on display for everyone to see on a shelf behind the counter, uh, the one they brought out that was not on display, when I had a close look at it, I noticed that both ankles were completely shattered, separate. Um, so I would say because of the nature of just the design, you know, those kind of thin ankles, uh, I would be very wary about getting this online delivered to you. Because there's, I just think there's a chance, it, and I don't want to scare you, believe me, I don't want to scare you off getting this piece. A lot of you would have no choice but to order this online and have it delivered, but it just seems there is a chance that it could turn up with that breakage. I don't know, maybe not. It is very sturdy. I mean, it's it feels really heavy, 
Maybe that was just a one-off thing. Maybe someone in the HMV stockroom tripped over it or dropped it by accident. I don't know, because I did notice one of the corners of the box for the one that was uh, broken, like the top corner there was quite dented in. So maybe it was dropped, I don't know, but just be careful with that. Make sure whoever you buy it uh, from checks that first and just checks it thoroughly. And in my experience, the statue wasn't really covered up very well in the styrofoam. It's kind of locked in to the styrofoam packaging that's shaped to fit him exactly, but he didn't really have much plastic wrapping around him or bubble wrap or any of that stuff. But luckily mine's all good. But yes, I would give this an absolute 10 out of 10. I think it's gorgeous. I, I, I just can't believe I almost left the damn place without buying it. Good thing I went back and just stop being silly and get the damn thing you know I was just I was trying to be sensible but I think I actually did the sensible thing in the end you know this is amazing so absolute 10 out of 10 from me highly recommend it hero collector 1 6 scale Batman the animated series statue and let's see in the future if I end up picking up the Joker and I'll bring you a review on that too but I'm just glad I have this one for now let me know what you think the look of it in the comments below and thank you for the support on the channel christmas coming up soon folks i hope you have a good one and uh yeah drop a like on the video subscribe and follow me on instagram dnight333 see you soon take it easy bye bye